right, guys, we got a thumbs up Thursday morning editorial for you. That's right, it's thumbs up Thursday. And I've got an editorial. Now, this one, I'm going to go a little bit of a different direction, but it's still regarding public employees. It's still regarding um, someone where your tax money goes to. And uh, it's one about a police officer that tried to do a good job, a police officer that tried to do a good thing, and a school administrator or administrators that turned on him. I want to know what you guys think about this one. Boy, I'll tell you what. This kind of burns me a little. I'll go through it. I'll tell you about this cop that tried to do the right thing. In Warren, Ohio. Maybe News Now Ohio can chime in on this one. In Warren, Ohio, city and police union officials are upset after a school resource officer was escorted out of the Jefferson K-8 building Tuesday, shortly after he issued a ticket to the principal, Carrie Boyer, for allegedly parking in a handicapped area. Michael Currington, a Warren police union rep, said the principal was warned several times. Resource officer Adam Chinchick was ordered and escorted out of the building by the school's business manager and the head of security in the same fashion as a criminal. Currington said Chinchick had been a resource officer at the school for two years. Warren City School Superintendent Steve Charo did not address the issue, but released the following statement. The Warren City School District had, has worked diligently over the past several years with the city of Warren to create and develop an effective school resource officer program. Our students, families, and staff have received many benefits from this relationship, and we look forward to continuing this partnership in the future. It is our belief that an individual event or series of events should never impede what we have accomplished or affect the positive rapport and interactions our students and staff experience with our resource officers each day. So is he saying that, I, I'm trying to read into this, and it's not real clear whether he's saying that the school principal should have acted better or that the resource officer shouldn't have tried to issue a citation. I'm not clear what he's saying here. Maybe that's the purpose. But it doesn't say in the article, I will put a link to the story in the description box below, and it doesn't say that he said anything to the principal. I go on. Currington, the union rep, said, Our officer was upset because he had promised a second grader he would have lunch with her, and he wouldn't, or he couldn't explain to her why he wouldn't be there. He was more upset about the student. Currington said that Officer Chinchik remains working for the police department but they hope to get him back to his job at the school. Warren City Law Director Greg Hicks says he believes the officer acted properly. Mr. Hicks said, quote, The officer asked her several times not to park there. My understanding, she was parked in the striped area next to the handicapped spot, and that is not allowed. Now, the video that I'll put the link to in the description box below has a Google Earth capture in the video of a car parked in the handicapped stripe zone. In fact, I think there's a there's a picture I put in here of that as well. And allegedly that's the principal's car and an area now the the stripe zone now the the area that's striped there for the handicap zone, it's to allow handicapped individuals to unload and load their wheelchairs from the van. So what happens is the van pulls up into the handicapped spot and the little ramp comes down into that striped area because there should be no cars there. And the wheelchair can come down in that striped area and go on their way or come up the striped area and then up the ramp and load in the van. But when you've got a car parked there, that's impossible to do. So reportedly, this principal was allegedly parking in that striped area several times, time and time and time and again. So if you get a student in a van in a wheelchair and the van pulls up you can't get out of the wheelchair because there's a car there in the striped area they have to go somewhere else and maybe unsafely in the middle of a parking lot where the cars come by has to unload the wheelchair there hoping they don't get struck by a car 
But furthermore than that, what are these students thinking when the police officer says you're parking illegally in a handicapped area? I've told you several times not to do this. I'm going to give you a citation. And he's escorted like a criminal off of the school grounds. What does that tell the students? Hey, cops are nothing. We can do what we want. And while I have people that watch my videos that may not like law enforcement so much, you have to also understand whether we like law enforcement or not, and especially for you public school administrators and school teachers and school principals, you're setting a standard and an example for the students to follow. Whether you like cops or not, you still have to obey the law. News Now Yukaipa, I want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know. It's not all about law enforcement. Sometimes it's about schools because your taxes go to pay these people that are doing whatever they want. Not all of them, but reportedly this one is doing whatever you want. Hey, I don't care. I'm not taking your ticket. Security, get this cop out of here. What? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Happy Thursday.